Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Dolls. And as I promised you, this video is a big one. It's inspired in one of the most intelligent horror films of all time. So, I'm gonna make not one, not two, but I'm gonna make five dolls. All of them with different colors, red, blue, silver, gold, and green. We're gonna have to work together if we wanna get out of here. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. Live or die. Make your choice. And I made my choice. These are my five girls. Venus, Claudine, Spectra, Dracubeca, and Frankie. As normal, I have to clean them, cut the hair really short. With the hair dryer, I make the vinyl soft to take the head out of the body. I scratch the head from inside and with my tweezers, I take the rest of the hair and the glue from the neck hole. With 100% acetone, I clean the face from all of the factory paint. I'm gonna cut ears of clouding because I don't need them and I'm gonna cover the holes with thermoplastic that I make it warm with my hair dryer. After I clean all of the five heads, it's time to paint the sculpt and start the rerouting. I reroute all of my five girls, four of them with synthetic hair, different color and one of them with yarn, the white hair. I noticed with the blue hair when I was rerouting the vinyl broke so I'm gluing it with a super glue and I leave it for 24 hours to uh, dry and then when I finish rerouting I drop tacky glue inside of the head squeeze really good make sure that all of the hair catch the glue and I let it dry also for 24 hours in between I'm gonna use this obby clay because I'm gonna attach this kind of half a mask to the blue girl I want to make them all different all of them with different touches with different characters personalities so wish me luck it's time for Mr. Super Clear, my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels, Rembrandt. I always give it three layers of Mr. Super Clear first to start, let it dry 30 minutes between the layers and then I start with a light watercolor pencil sketching the face, the shape of the eyes, the eyebrows, the lips, trying to give character and personality to my dolls and then gradually I'm building more opacity between the layers with my watercolor pencils and soft pastels I'm not gonna show you all the process of the five dolls I'm gonna show you different stages in a way that I hope that you understand. This was a big project. I'm busy like for two months doing it, but I'm really proud of him because I think it brings my skills to another level. Let me see more what I can do. And I have to be honest, the blue face was a little bit difficult for me, but I'm really proud of it. And I also use micro powder to give it shiny to my dolls. Did you saw the movies? I really love them. I don't know, I have something about horror movies, but behalf of a horror movie, I think, first of all, is very very intelligent let it see how mankind can react to different things and let it see how we really are how 
we can be so selfish and not thinking about the other ones. So that's what the meaning of this film for me is. It's not just an horror film. That made me think about it and about the way I deal with other people and about the way I deal with the world and try to be a better person. With some caviar pearls and super glue, I give it some piercings to my girls. With the gold face, I give it gold touches with acrylic paint and a really tiny brush in the eyes, and lips and in the face, also in the ears. That's what I told you, I try to give it little different things to all of them, make them unique, different from each other, but in a way that they belong to each other. With white acrylic I give it the light catches in the eyes and also in the lips. Now it's time for the clothes. I give it to my four girls a white body that I glue it with fabric glue in the sleeves and I'm gonna sew it in the shoulders and in the sides. With this stretchy black fabric I'm gonna cut the five jackets they're gonna be all the same shape but with different colors I'm gonna use rhinestones satin ribbons uh, laces metal stones chains I said four girls because the green one Dracovec she have a so detailed body that I think was a shame to hide him so I just leave it uncovered without the body and now it's time to sew it everything together and decorate them the five jackets For the bottoms, then I make it different. For the silver one, I make a long skirt that I'm gonna finish with this black satin uh, ribbon that I'm gonna lace it around it. For the blue one, I'm gonna give her this blue uh, ribbon. I'm gonna finish the skirt with this synthetic shiny leather. I'm gonna give her a touch like a belt. For the green one, I'm gonna make her a panties, then I'm gonna sew it on her body and I'm gonna finish them in the sides with this green ribbon that I'm gonna glue with fabric glue. And I'm gonna do it in the other side also. I'm gonna use 
these rhinestones in green color and some silver chains. All of the five dolls are available on my Etsy shop. If you need a saw doll in your life and in your house, you can find them there. This is the gold skirt, that's how she's finished it. She's also gonna be a, a short skirt. I'm gonna attach her in the back side with some velcro and I'm gonna decorate it with this black ribbon and with this gold and black lace also. And of course my girls, they need jewelry, they need rings and bracelets and necklace and earrings. I make them with a metal wired in gold and silver. All of them to match their colors. The shoes, I'm gonna make them also different. I'm gonna start for the silver ones that I'm gonna use this fake leather and I'm gonna sew it in the back side really close to the leg and then I glue it with super glue directly to the mold that I printed in my Elego Mars 2 Pro and I'm gonna paint them with Panduro Acryl Glossy Paint and then I protect everything with varnish glossy I cut them because I didn't want them too long I finished them in the top with a thinner silver ribbon and now I'm gonna decorate them and cover all the imperfections with uh, silver and red rhinestones and with some UV glue. For the blue ones I'm gonna use this blue tool then I'm gonna sew it like a sock directly in her leg I cut him next to the stitches after I sew him I turn it inside out and with this blue fake leather, you see it? It's uh, glossy. I'm gonna insert it in the sock of the tool and glue it directly in my high heels print shoes. I'm gonna use also some different kind of blue beads to embellish it and finish it and I protect everything with my glossy varnish. For the green doll, I'm gonna use these Claudine boots that I painted in green and I use this metal leaf to give it a shiny detail. And of course I'm gonna also protect it with varnish. Uh, the gold one, I wanna give it a, a sandals I'm using this gold fake leather. I make a strap in the front that I glue it with super glue. And then in the back side, I fold the strap in half and then I glue it directly to the same print of eye shoes with super glue. And I painted everything in gold. And then I attach it in the ankle with the same gold ribbon that I used in the blue socks. But first of all, I finished them with this cute gold heart and the red boots i make them in the same way i make the black ones i just give them the high shoes print and i just make them longer and then i finish them with different kind of reds also to embellish them. of course we cannot forget the masks i printed a lot of accessories i printed masks i printed swords i try to see what show up in the movie I printed also some jigsaw pieces and of course I have to paint everything with acryl paint and give it all the details and the details in the mask I'm giving them the five different colors red, blue, green, silver and gold After they dried I brushed them with some black soft pastel to make them older. I finished the eyes with some red rhinestones that I glue it with a super glue 
and now I'm gonna protect everything all of these accessories with some varnish glossy acrylic the blue one I want to give her a different hand so I printed this saw and I painted it in blue and I finish her with a metal leaf and of course I have to use the Fimo sticky product to glue the metal leaf to the saw and that's how she looks and I also printed a tricycle that show up in this movie it's one of the most icon accessories that show up in the movie like the mask is the tricycle so I'm gonna paint it in red and then I'm gonna protect it with varnish and now it's time to put the head back to the bodies and give it the last details like the eyelashes that I glue it with tacky glue varnishing the lips and the eyes and styling the hairs I want to say thank you for all of the support. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. It's very, very important and it's a big help to my channel to grow up. Just click the button. It's for free. If you like my dolls, if you like my work, and if you want to support me. And of course, if you don't want to lose my next project just click the button subscribe my channel like the video leave your comment I love to read all of your comments as you know I leave you with the final photos and video of my five girls and I see you on my next video bye